welcome to Mama Ruth's house. I am so glad you stopped in. These videos I'm going to be making next are very, very special to my heart. I am decided that this is my weight loss journey and our tr family tradition is that I make candy every year. I've been doing it for nearly 40 years and I'm not going to stop. And this is the candy that I, I make. I have 13 different things that I'm going to be sharing with you. And I thought this would be a wonderful legacy. Someday I won't be able to do this. Hopefully not anytime soon. But I thought this would be very nice for my, my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. That I don't have yet. Um, so today I am going to be making several different candies. I'll be doing many videos. Um, and I hope that you enjoy them. And I will be pointing them. First up, we're going to be making a crock pot um, peanut cluster. And these may be 13 points each, but we'll see how many we get. I was doing 56, but it may get more than that. I'm going to put them in the tiny um, cupcake uh, papers. And we'll see how many we get, and it may be lower points. Um, it's pointy because of the sugar, obviously, and the peanuts. Even though the peanuts are healthy for us, it's a little pointy because they, they do have um, a, a fat. So let's get started. This one is, well, they're, they're all pretty simple. They're just time consuming. Um, and you'll see, I'm so excited to share them all with you. Um, and next year we'll be doing a few different ones. I usually like to try to switch it up every year. Um, but anyway, this is what we got going on today. And I want to tell everybody, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I don't know when these will be airing. I believe between Christmas and New Year's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to flood you with all of these videos. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, I went to Weight Watchers this morning. This is Saturday the 23rd, and I lost two pounds. So I am now at a total of 72.4, and I'm so excited to share that with you. Um, last week, I ate, last weekend, I had in and out I counted it. I had a double-double with onions and a, and a fry, and that was 34 points. So I used some of my extra points, um, and I ate very well during the rest of the day. So you can still enjoy those things. It's just everything is in moderation and um, you know that you can still have it. It's, it's not, this is a journey. It's a lifelong um, lifestyle change. So I just have to know that I can't eat like that every single day. Um, but once in a while is okay. All right, let's get started. This is the peanut cluster recipe. I'm gonna do this in our crock pot. So we're going to start with um, dry roasted unsalted peanuts, 16 ounces, just one of the jars. Just pour those right in here. You're going to see how easy this is. And then we're going to use the um, salted cocktail peanuts, 16 ounces. And some people like to add more. You can. Um, I've heard, seen that some people like to add pretzels. You can do kind of whatever you want. Make it your own. We're going to add 16 ounces of semi-sweet uh, morsels, 16 ounces of milk chocolate, 20 ounces of peanut butter chips, which is two bags. And then we're going to be adding 32 ounces of the almond bark. And so 32 ounces is one package and four cubes additional. And we're just gonna mix that up. So let me get this out of the way here. Just gonna kind of stir this around a little bit. Now, a lot of people get a burn notice on this or you, you know it, you have a problem. So what I suggest is that probably about every, it takes a half, uh, takes two hours on low, and about every half hour or so, I would just stir it. We're gonna just kind of mix this around. I 
Um, I did see that some people um, actually put it on warm because some crock pots cook a little hotter than others. Um, I may need to do that. I don't know yet, so we'll see. I've not used this crock pot for this. I like to give this out as um, gifts. I share it at work a lot of times. I, I just share it with family members. This is what a lot of people like for their gifts. And I enjoy doing it. And it's just not Christmas if I didn't do this because I feel like I've done it for, four, like I said, 40 years. And it's just part of what what I do and and everybody kind of looks forward to to it so I'm going to go put this on and I will show you as we go I'll bring it and stir it so that you can see how it looks and then when we start um, putting it in the little cups I will show you that as well and we'll be I'll be back with this one and we'll be on with another one all right this is our first half hour with our peanut clusters and I'm mixing this up. It's melting nicely. I just wanted to show you how it looked on the first half hour. I think it's not going to take as long as I'm thinking, um, but I think I am going to be using, um, um, I think I'm going to be turning it to low. I feel like, I mean, not low. I think my crock pot does it quickly heats too hot so I think I'm going to turn it to warm all right we'll be back okay it's been an hour and a half I stirred the peanuts uh, clusters about every half hour now I have some I decided to go with the larger cupcake um, because I usually make my uh, peanut clusters about that size so that's what I'm going to go with. We'll see how many we get out of there. And I'm going to sit down because I have been making this a lot and I'm old now. So <laughs> it's going to take, I'm going to have to do it little by little here. So we're just going to take our little scooper. I'm going to drop them in there. They smell so good. I don't think I'm going to be able to sit down and do it. I'm not used to sitting down. I think I'm going to have to stand up. Now, you can put more peanuts if you'd like. And as I said before, you can add other things. Someone said, what if you added coconut? I don't know how that would be, but it probably, I don't know if you like coconut and nuts. I don't see why not. You can make it your own. Oh yeah, these are going to be a good size, not too big. Um, I really like doing it like this on the in the cups because then they don't like spread all over and you know you don't you make them a little more uniform, I guess. But I've done it in the both ways. This is easier to give out, and you can see it it goes pretty quickly. Again, super easy. All these recipes are easy. Don't be afraid to make candy. You can do it. These have a super yummy flavor. They got some, the peanut buttery flavor. And if you don't like peanut butter, don't put the peanut butter. You can add um, just extra milk chocolate or, or dark chocolate, whatever you'd like. You don't have to add the peanut butter. Same thing with the white chocolate. If you don't really like white chocolate, you don't have to add that as well, the almond, the almond. It just makes it creamier, the almond um, bark. I think I find that it tends to make it creamier. All right, so I'm getting where you can't see me, so let's get this over a little bit. Get those last few in there. And again, I won't bore you with this is what we're doing. We're just putting them in these cups and we'll show you the finished prod product when it gets all done.
you can choose I've put sprinkles before on them um, you can pretty much do however you want all right so these I'm gonna put in the fridge and I will turn you off because you saw what I did it was just that simple we put it in here I stirred it every half hour I actually turned it to my um, warm because my low was a little bit too warm and um, that's how I decided to go with it they're gonna be wonderful and I can't wait to um, get my little tester in here to try these mm -hmm.